Close your eyes for a minute. Got them closed? Now imagine Gerald Genta design and a Zenith El Primero. You need some time to yourself for a second? Hi everyone and welcome to Sha Luso and to another episode of Watch On My Mind. The series on the channel where I just talk about watches I've recently discovered, what I think of them, a little bit of their history and where they fit into the context of today's watches. And today I'm talking about the Bulgari Diagonal Chronograph, a watch from the early 2000s whose design traces back to the times of Gerald Genta as well as featuring the Zenith El Primero which has been kind of a theme on the channel for the last few weeks and with good reason because it is one of the most important watch calibers in modern watchmaking history. If you want to learn more about why the El Primero is so important then make sure you check the video in the top right corner after you watch this one. And of course if you want to jump around any section of this particular video make sure you look at the links in the description if there's a certain part you're interested in. But let's talk about the Diagonal Chronograph. The Diagonal line itself was released in 1988 and it served essentially as a sportier version of the Bulgari Bulgari. Now that's important because the Bulgari Bulgari was actually designed by Gerald Genta himself. Not to be confused with when Bulgari bought the Gerald Genta brand and all the designs that they had been using because some of those weren't done by Genta himself, just supervised or influenced by his design. Whereas the Bulgari Bulgari, that was an actual Genta design and the, uh, and the Diagonal was an evolution of that. The idea being they wanted to create something that was a little bit sportier than the Bulgari Bulgari which served more as like a dress watch. And in addition to that, it meant that they could use it as a platform for releasing new complications. Not just tourbillons and minute repeaters, which they were already going to do throughout the 90s and 2000s, but also so that they could use more practical things. The Diagonal Sport, for example, featured GMTs. They had a diving version and, of course, chronographs. Now, throughout the years, they've used ETA 2894s, which are modular chronographs. Even the Diagonal 303 used a Frederick Piguet 1185. So they even dabbled into the high horology aspect of having a sports chronograph. However, without a doubt, one of the most special diagonal chronographs was the Diagonal Velocissimo. And this featured the Zenith El Primero, or as they called it, the BBL 328. This was a completely unaltered version of the El Primero. So you still had the 35,000 VPH beat rate, column wheel, three register chronograph with a date, no hacking seconds and still with the eccentric time and date setting inverted because it's an El Primero. And of course you could still see it in the back which was rare for most Bulgari chronographs of the time. Really the only ones where you could see the movement for a Bulgari chronograph were either the 303 which was the one that had the Frederick Piguet 1185 or the ones equipped with the Zenith El Primero. And I think that's a good move from Bulgari. It shows a little bit of integrity in the sense if they weren't really showing off movements that weren't worth looking at. At the end of the day, how much does someone want to look at an ETA 2824? And as for the design, this is clearly descended from those original Genta pieces from the 80s, but with modern proportions and crucially, it's still featured an integrated bracelet or an integrated rubber strap. So it could still look plenty sporty, but you could also have an integrated leather strap to make it look a little bit more elegant or on full rubber because it still had 100 meters water resistance. And being a product of the earlier 2000s before the big watch craze sort of took over, it's decently proportioned as well. It measures 41 millimeters in diameter, 12.5 millimeters thick, and still 100 meters water resistance. So it was an all around sports watch. Think about it. It was a sports watch with Gerald Genta influenced design, proper Gerald Genta pedigree in that design, as well as a Zenith El Primero on the inside. So it makes for a really compelling combination. And then when you and then when you look at the price, they currently pre-owned sell for around 3,000, 3,500, up to about 5,000 US dollars. So it offers a great alternative to a standard Chronomaster perhaps, or any of the other watches that feature the El Primero within them. And you get Bulgari design, but with proper horological clout on the inside with the movement. But it's more than that. We've talked about the history of this watch, but let's talk about where it actually fits into the context of modern Bulgari. Just a few weeks ago, Bulgari released a new iteration of its chronograph GMT in the Octo Finissimo. In this case, it's full steel, 100 meters water resistant. So they're really pushing it up a little bit. They've evolved it from the pared down 2019 version, which had just painted on indices 
all sandblasted titanium, all grayscale. They've added a little bit of color. They've made it steel, improved the water resistance. They're evolving the Octo Finissimo. And the Octo Finissimo itself was the product of that Genta evolution. The original Octo was actually descended from the Gerald Genta Octo by Retro. And things get even more interesting when you look at the Bulgari Octo Velocissimo, as it used to be called, because that, in 2014, being the first chronograph in the Octo line, also featured the Zenith El Primero. So it's kind of like Bulgari has finally realized its true vision of marrying the Gerald Genta design with one of the best possible chronograph movements that they could get their hands on. The difference is now, of course, with the modern version, it's an in-house movement and it happens to be a world record holder for being the thinnest chronograph GMT movement. The 2019 one was the thinnest chronograph GMT watch, still holding that record till today. So it's interesting seeing how it all fits in and how you can have a piece of what is essentially the genesis of modern Bulgari success in having something that mixes that Gerald Genta design with a classic movement like the Zenith El Primero. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this? Would you get this instead of a standard Chronomaster? Would you get this instead of an Octo Finissimo Chronograph GMT? Or instead of a modern Bulgari Octo that features the El Primero either? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you like it and share it. If you wanna see more pictures of watches as well as the infographics that I use, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Shaluso. And of course, if you wanna see more videos of watches, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well so you know when my next video comes up. In any case, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one.